Thanks for listening to the AZ Wildcats podcast. I'm your host, Mike Luke. New season, new you, new sheer. Hello, Jason. Sheer, long time no see. Uh, we were hung out in Vegas nonstop. Did you miss me? No. I mean, yes. Yes. Uh, Mike, I'm I'm like super multitasking. I got the woman selection show on now. If Arizona makes it, I will let you know. We do all kinds of good stuff around here. All right. Now. We have got a lot. Uh, we have got a lot to get to here. Oh, LA Shadow Eight taking a lot of shots at me in a post game comment. Just so you know, I couldn't hear anything during that post game. So yeah. next time you say all that, you know your facts together. All right, now we've got a lot to get to this show. First of all, Arizona against uh, Arizona against um, obviously Long Beach State. But overall, this was a very, very, very uh, fortuitous draw for the Wildcats. Um, this, I think, was easily the easiest draw out of any of the number two seeds. You've got Arizona, Long Beach State. Then after that, you possibly would have Dayton uh, against uh, Nevada. We'll get into all of this. But what were your initial thoughts when you saw this come out, Skier? I, uh, so I, I just came back from the, the watch event. Is that what it's called? The watch event? Watch party. Watch party. Thank you, Shelby. Uh, and the team was watching it, and I was watching it. And when FAU was like an eight seed, I turned to Shelby and I'm like, "Oh, this is about to get weird, right? <laughs> like this is about to get real weird." And then I'm like, "Okay, they're clearly going to play Gonzaga." And then you see Gonzaga, you're like, "Oh, I think I texted you." I'm like, "Oh, here comes St. Mary's." Yeah. And then you see St. Mary's, and you're like, "Oh, okay." Uh, to me, my initial reaction is that, and I posted this right away. And you know, I I don't usually say stuff like this. There is no excuses. None. This is right. about as good of a draw as you could have hoped Arizona would have gotten. Yes, it, it really is. There's really other no. Uh, there's really no other way to put it. The other thing too that I think we need to talk about too is uh, let's talk about. Oh, Jacob Franklin. Wow, what is he doing in here? Let's talk about Long Beach State. We're going to get to all of this, but the West LBC, region. Are you rooting for the LBC? Yeah, uh, I will. No, I'm not rooting for the LBC. Sheer is talking me out of Long Beach State being good. I have watched Long Beach State. I have watched more Long Beach State than Jason Shear <laughs> has. I watched Jay I watched Long Beach State last night. Um, now the first thing we need to talk about is what Long Beach State is. This they're not good, but they did win their conference tournament. Uh, Dave Hickey's guy Dan Munson is their coach, and they have five. I am impressed. You know that connection, by the way. Why do you that know that? Of course, Dave I know. I'm just saying. Shout out to like action. Duh. Um, okay. All right. Now you've got the first guy. You've got Marcus Honus. Uh, you might remember him from Pac-12 fame. Averages 18 points per game. The little guard that scoots around shooting up threes. But sheer, they got five guys in double figures, including a big man up front. Tell me why I shouldn't be at all worried about it. Because you said on the phone you are not at all worried about it. Uh, no, I think they're terrible. Okay, go ahead. Uh, where do you want me to start? So, for instance... Uh, they're not a good three-point shooting team whatsoever. Mm -hmm. They don't even shoot threes. They are uh, 303rd in the country in three-point percentage. They are okay. 347th in the country in the amount of threes they take. And they are 350th in the country in three-point distribution. There's two guys on the team that shoot, and the other guys basically try to score off rebounds. They're not a good team, Mike. Like, okay. I, I will say this now. If Arizona loses... I won't say half a word to defend Tommy Lloyd. He gets whatever whatever he gets, he deserves. Like, they're not good. And they run up and down the court. So they're playing Arizona's game, and they're not good at it. All right. Now, one thing about it is the uh, with Arizona, obviously, um, uh, this Long Beach State team, yes, Arizona should pummel them. It's an 18-point spread. Uh, uh, Princeton was a 14-point spread before. Um Take that for take that for what it is, but I do believe uh, I do believe that Arizona should be able to smoke uh, Long Beach State. But let's uh, now let's talk a little bit more about this bracket. But first, I want to address the elephant in the room, and this is Kylan Boswell. Um, obviously, everybody's seen the pictures out there. Boswell at the uh, at the blackjack table. Here's where I stand on this. It's not so much the blackjack that he's playing. I just have a real problem with this that. You have a kid who clearly does not really care. Listen, I know you're 18, this and that, but nothing. And I think you got to bench him. I can't believe that he was not, that he played, that he started that game against Oregon. To me, that shows there's no fear whatsoever of any repercussions. I did not like how this was handled. Again, I don't believe in giving up on the kid. I'm not suspending him, but I will say that to me, there's no excuse for a kid like that to be at the gambling table, knowing that he can't do that. 
um, they're 1000 percent, I believe, needed to be some uh, uh, consequences. And yes, Arizonian, that was him. Go ahead. Yes, that was him. Uh, I love how it's like the what Your is board it is great. They're like evaluating it's or whatever. <laughs> it's not. It's him. I promise. Uh, Nebraska woman six seed, Mike. I know you were wondering. Nebraska woman just yeah. got a six seed. Right. Um, so here's the thing. A, a part of me, and I know this sounds stupid, but a part of me is actually more disappointed that he got caught. He is not the only player in Vegas to have gone out. What no, Joseph, 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 real quick, Joseph, what's he supposed to do? It's illegal. He's not allowed to do it. Yeah, he's, he's, in a, 19, he's in a, cas Joseph. He's in a, he's <laughs> a, he's in a <laughs> casino filled with Arizona fans. You're not allowed yeah, to do that. That's what I was getting to. That's the part that annoys me the most. Like, there's how many casinos are in Vegas, right? You went to right. the MGM Grand, the Arizona team hotel where everyone is staying, sat at a table at 11 o'clock at night, played blackjack and thought no one would see you. We've got message board posters who played at the same table as him. Yeah. Like if you really want to gamble, like I know there's there's a few players that that I saw that I have friends saw from other teams that were drinking whatever, right? But no one really caught on to it, right? Because they did it in a different type of way. For you to sit down at the MGM Grand, which may be the the most crowded hotel on the strip, and think no one was going to see you. Like, my, come on, man. My, my question, my question more so is this, and then we're going to get back to the tournament um, because he is uh, uh, th th this bo this bothers me. He's obviously a kid that enjoys his college life, and you know what? There's nothing wrong with enjoying his college life. He's also been absolutely terrible out on the basketball court. What this what this shows me though is that he doesn't really have any fear of any repercussions. Nobody, I mean, you you can't go into there knowing that. And then of course he wasn't suspended. I don't buy all the, we handled it internally stuff that doesn't, you, you have to bench the kid. Can you imagine this happening under Sean Miller? I don't even like Sean Miller, but can you imagine this happening under Sean Miller? I mean, there's some bad stuff that happened under Sean Miller that guys weren't suspended for. I don't think it happened at the Pac-12 tournament, but we know that there was some stuff locally that happened. Where, Yeah, I, I think, look, don't even suspend him, right? Just be like, hey, you know what? He's, caught, he's You're benched. Just, just be like, hey, there's an internal disciplinary issue. Not a big deal. He's not starting. Put him in at whatever, the 10-minute mark, right? Is it, a, is it a real punishment? No, but at least send somewhat of a message. I don't know what they did behind closed doors. I have no idea. I know it's stupid and you're upset about it and all that. I get it. I'm just saying it, it felt like, but I think part of it, part of it, and this is just me, is that this time of year, the last thing you want is distractions. And I think there's a part of Tommy, right or wrong, I know you disagree, that says if I suspend this kid now, it is a national story, and now this is all we're talking about. Well, that's all we're going to – again, at the end of the day, though – No so one's talking about it except us, Mike. So there's it's basically not no repercussions for doing anything then because you don't want a distraction and you don't want to upset the kid. I – I don't. I mean, I, what, th this what, just bothers me. That's all. I'll get back to. It. I love Tommy Lloyd, but this very, very much bothers me, especially too with some of the other stuff. But anyways, let's get back to the NCAA tournament. I just had to get that off my back. Um. All right. Now, uh, let's see. So we're going to assume that Arizona beats Long Beach State. Is this correct? Uh, I'm not even going on your post game if they don't. Okay. Now. Arizona, then Nevada, Dayton becomes interesting. Ne ne Nevada is a really solid team. Uh, what's his name? Um. Uh, Steve Alford's done a very good job there. Let's be honest. Nevada's kind of Steve Alford's speed. He's really, really good at the Nevadas, at the Mountain West, or, you know, at the uh, New Mexico State schools like that. They're a good team that's won quite there's, – they're a good team that finished second in their conference in a very good conference, no less. This was a uh, – this was a – this is a good team, and I think they're going to beat Dayton, to be honest with you, even with Deron Holmes. So this is literally one of the closest first round matchups you're going to see. The spread is one and a half. Ken Palm has it as Dayton favored by one mm -hmm. with 51 to 49. This is going to be a really, really good game. I think Nevada wins. Uh, you know, it, again, like both teams have certain talent. I think if you want a, a matchup stylistic type of deal, uh, you would want to play Nevada. Dayton shoots a lot of threes. Like right. a lot of threes, uh, and they are good at it. They're third in the country at three point percentage. They're 29th in three point attempts. Their offense is very good. They slow it down. Um, now they could get cold and they slow it down a lot. 
you should want Nevada to win. Uh, Arizona is a nightmare matchup for Nevada. So if you want the easier matchup and all that, root for Nevada over Dayton. I'm also at the stage, and I know I keep saying this, I'm far more interested in Arizona at this point because we when we were watching the Oregon game, and again, this goes back to Boswell a little bit, and you mentioned it too, you could tell that some of the players were annoyed by that whole thing that was going on. Yeah, I actually, I asked Tommy, I said, you know, we're going to go home and I'm going to go on Michael Luke's show. I'm sure you're going to watch it. And I'm going to analyze the heck out of this matchup for the next four days. But at the end of the day, it's just about you guys, right? And he goes, yeah. He goes, that's really, this time of year, it's just, it's do what you do and do it better than you've done it all season. And I if also you don't, to- you lose. And if you right. do, you win. I also need to have a quick draw. We need to, need to have a quick draw McGraw in this where it's the time to win games. Oh, we got a super snap coming in, by the way. Super snaps hot and heavy. For reference, uh, LB, or Long Beach State, 2-1-3, my friends. This uh, is next- easy, too. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you're so- go ahead. Well, in, in, in addition to what BAB is saying, Princeton has a guy that was in, that's in the NBA, right? Mm-hmm. He's not playing, but the, the English power forward, remember, whatever his name is, mm-hmm. he's an NBA player. Long right. Beach State has nothing close. Uh, the starting guard for Princeton last year is the starting guard for Northwestern. Played 30 minutes a game at Northwestern. Long Beach State doesn't have that. This isn't a good team. It's just not. All right. So we're said we're we're assuming yeah. they get by Long Beach State. Then you've got Nevada and Dayton. Um, then it becomes then then things get real again. I think Arizona is going to beat either one of those teams, but it does get real at that point. I am saying, looking over at the west side or the other side of the bracket. I'm not thrilled if I'm nor actually I think Arizona got a better draw than North Carolina, to be honest with you. I don't know. I don't have the bracket. Oh, North I have it in front of me because I do show prep, unlike some people. So you got UNC Thomas went and did work earlier. And uh, what were you doing? You ate what did you have for lunch? You're eating lunch. What did you have? No, I didn't have anything for lunch. I didn't eat today. Um now what you wound up at- having last night? Did you have Buffalo spot? I did have Buffalo spot. Yes, it was very scrumptious, very tasty. I'll be serious at you right now, by the way. Why What's that? Eat? Why? Shelby wants to know why you haven't ate yet. Uh, no, because I uh, I had a lot of gas yesterday, and I was farting <laughs> out of Shearer's car. No, I did. I kept farting the entire time in Shears' car. Um, now That's an ad. Do you hear that? All right. Now, let's talk. All right. Real quick. and then okay, we're gonna Give get- me North Carolina. Give me, give me their 8-9. Okay. They got Mississippi State and Michigan State. I don't love having to play possible uh, Michigan State. Yeah, that's a pain in the butt. That's a pain in the butt. And then St. Mary's, who you believe sucks on the other side of the bracket, and Alabama. St. Mary's and Grand Canyon. I think St. Mary's St. Mary's is going to cruise to the Sweet 16. Yeah. yeah. I think St. Mary's is going to beat Grand St. Canyon. Mary's and I think they're going to beat Alabama. I just called Who's it. St. Mary's first run opponent? Uh, Grand Canyon. And then they face Alabama? Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that exactly. And you think St. Mary's sucks. I think, no, you were scared of Jason. I'm so scared of St. Mary's. I'm so scared of everyone. Hold me. Hey, put that on Ken Palm right now. What would the spread be in Arizona St. Mary's? You can't can't look at that. But I can tell you that Arizona would be favored. Well, I get that. But uh, St. Mary's uh, is, uh, yeah. I don't know. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that? All right. Now, real quick, I just had somebody. Let's get back to Long Beach State one more time, and then we're going to move on, and we're not going to talk Long Beach State anymore. Long Beach State has five guys that score in double figures. You got Sahonis that averages 18 points per game. You've also got a double double machine down low. And double double a, machine. Yeah. And they're a team that played really well uh, down the stretch the last four games. Plus, they have one of Dave Hickey's best friends as their head coach going into his swan song. Rebut all of that, Jason Shear. All right. First of all, uh, they haven't played well their last four games. They've played well their last three games. Fine. Uh, second of all, the teams they beat to win their conference tournament in Ken Palm, 216 UC Riverside, mm-hmm. 76 Irvine, and 174 UC Davis. Uh, their their point guard is not efficient. He shoots 44% from two and 31% from three. Mm. Okay, so is that pretty much all you got for it then? They're not good, dude. All right, so let's go with no their bad, so Do you think no Arizona – do you think Arizona covers the spread? No, but I think they win by like 18. Isn't the spread 18? Yeah, I think it's accurate. You think that's exactly it. All right, I'm going to back the A's. By, uh, Ken Palm. I think Arizona drops a hundy. I think Arizona, I'm going to back the A as well. I think Arizona is also going to be very motivated in this Also, game. their power forward, Mike, is 6'5", 190. Yeah, I know, but he gets 10 rebounds per game, though, as well, don't? Or, I know, he gets 10 points and 5 rebounds per game. 
How many rebounds do you think I could get in a college game right now? None, zero. You can't move. I've seen you move. Um, now, when it comes to big butt, I but this check. also, also, this is one thing though. Let's get back to the, and then we're going to get to the rest of this. I promise. Mike, you got to practice pronouncing names, by the way. What's that? Their starting power forward's name is Abu Bakar Traore. Yeah, no, that's why I let you pronounce it. But also, uh, as far as Arizona goes, I need these guys to get back on track. I need Caleb Love to get back on track. And I need to have, if this is the case, if Kylan Boswell is going to struggle, there's got to be a quick hook. There's no more playing around. There's no more just having fun in games. Got to be a quick hook, Jason Shear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm back in the A. I think Arizona's going to win this game by about 25 points. Proud of you. All right. Now, let's get on to the uh, – now, let's move over to the other side of the bracket. We just talked about Dayton, and we talked about uh, Nevada. I would prefer to have Dayton – or excuse me, I would prefer to play Nevada than Dayton, even though I think Nevada is a better team than Dayton. Dayton does has stylistically present some matchups because of how they shoot the ball. Now, looking over on the uh, looking over on the other side, then then it begins a little interesting. Baylor is your three seed. Now, listen, this is a good Baylor team. This isn't a great Baylor team, but they are also very well. Uh, they're very well balanced. You've got three, or you got six guys that average in double figures. You've got the proverbial top ten pick in there that everybody is always so, uh, um, you know, big on. This is a good Baylor team. It's not a great Baylor team, and honestly, I think Arizona's got more firepower than Baylor. Who's Baylor's uh, first round matchup? Mm, let me look this up. Damn, I, I was. Well, I here's the like, thing. This in front cool. of you, man. I keep having. Hey, I don't know if you know this. Lute Olson came from Long Beach State. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. You didn't know that. I can guarantee you that. Um. All right. Now let's see. Baylor has. Oh, it's all cut. Why is it cut off there? Uh, Baylor's three fourteen. We're just going to assume they win that game because it's cut off. Um. Then they would play Clemson or New Mexico. I think New Mexico is going to beat Clemson. Oh, oh they got Colgate. Reason. Yeah, I think I think Baylor's going to beat Colgate. Baylor's going to kill Colgate. Although they better be careful because Colgate can score. Uh. I could absolutely see Baylor losing to Clemson or New Mexico. Okay. I don't think they will, but I can see it. Baylor, I don't like at all because it's actually – they're all athletic. Uh, now, they're not as good as some past Scott Drew teams have been. They're actually pretty bad defensively. Right. But their offense is really good. They shoot their it offense at is really good, which is kind of the exact opposite of what we generally seen from Scott Drew teams. Right. Right. Their offense is good. Uh, they're athletic at every position. They have size. Uh, I like Baylor a lot. It is weird, you though. You just said you don't like, like Baylor. No, I do like Baylor. You just said you thought they were going to lose in this, uh, to New Mexico. I think you New Mexico just said that. too. <laughs> I said I wouldn't be surprised. I would pick Baylor. Okay. So do we uh, see that, do we see Baylor then? Do we see Baylor making it to the Sweet Sixteen? I see Baylor making it to the Sweet Sixteen. I do too. Yeah, but again, this isn't a team. You don't have a Davian Mitchell. You, heck, you don't even really have an LJ Cryer. It was somebody, you know, you're like, you could get 16, 17. I got, I got breaking news. I got breaking news. What's that? We have we have tip times for the people in here. All right. What are the tip times? What do we got? Uh, Hold on. Let me look. Arizona right. is playing. Ooh. The morning game. Hmm. First game of the day. 11 a.m. All right. You know what? I'm in on it. That's what you got to do. You got to do that. By the way, the notorious sheer hedge. That was very funny. Joseph, that was funny. 11 a.m. I don't like it, dude. I don't like having the first game of the day. It upsets me. You know what? I, I don't care, but it shouldn't matter, though, because you're playing Long Beach State. Yeah, I'm just saying. Brad Nessler, Brendan Haywood, and uh, Dana Jacobson on the call. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, now let's get back to uh, let's get back to Baylor though. Uh, I do believe that it's going to be Arizona Baylor in that round of sweet uh, that uh, Sweet Sixteen game. I do think though that Arizona matches up well with Baylor. I think Arizona. I think uh, just across really? the what's that? You really think so? I think Arizona does match up well with Baylor. I think it's going to be a tough game. You think Arizona just, matches up with a team that just shoots a ton of threes. But I also don't think that they have it. I also am not the. Yes, that's that's yeah. fair. I'll that's, win again. That's fair. Are you, picking Baylor? Are you picking Baylor? PBS. Are you picking Baylor? No, oh, they're going to play Clemson. Okay, so you got Clemson beating Baylor. So there's your notorious sheer hedge. I don't know. I haven't looked at the bracket yet. Yeah, I know. That's, uh, that's a little bit. Guys, you can all look this stuff up. What channel? You guys can all. Come on, Nick. I love you. But you guys can look this up. TNT. No, TBS. Mike, this all is right. the stuff people want to know. This is the stuff people want to know. All right, so we both have Arizona advancing then, correct? Yes, Mike. 
All right, now North Carolina. Let's talk a little bit about North Carolina because they are the one seed here. But first, we need to get into a little bit of, uh, let's, uh, we got to pay the bills. First, uh, well, actually, no, let's get into North Carolina because then we're going to pay the bills. North Carolina um, is a really good team, but I also, you know, if Arizona's in the Elite Eight at that point, I am 1,000% going to take my chances with uh, Arizona because they are one... Listen, if Arizona is in the Elite Eight, they're going to be in good spot because they've won three games. I'll take I'll take my chances against them. Again, I know you got RJ Davis, you got Baycott, you got uh, Jared Haas's favorite player, uh, uh, Harrison Ingram, but I'll take Arizona at that point. If Arizona gets to the Elite Eight, I am not picking against Arizona just because I think that they would have flipped some kind of switch. But I can also see North Carolina having a hard time with. Uh, I can also see North Carolina having a little bit of a hard time with. Michigan State, my friend. Yes. Uh, actually, I think Texas A&M, North Carolina, is actually a more difficult matchup. Uh, mm -hmm. Texas A&M is super athletic. They're playing well. They have a good big, a good guard. Uh, that would not surprise me if that was a close game. Okay. But if Arizona gets there, I'm taking Arizona against North Carolina every day of the week, Jason Shear, every day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mike, uh, odds are out. Odds are out. All right. What have we got for the odds? You know who's favored to win the West region? North Carolina. Incorrect. Arizona? Correct. Wow. Arizona. Wow. I like it, but I think part of that is. Dominant. Let's go. Arizona's plus 180. North Carolina's plus 235. I, I'm telling you, I think a lot of that too is because of the draw. I think North Carolina got a crappier draw. I really do. I know what you're wondering, Mike. Long Beach State is plus 40,000. Um, okay. Well, you know, again, though, joking aside, I think North Carolina got kind of a crummy draw. It's all about draw because, like, the East, like, UConn's favorite, right? Iowa State, the two seed, is not the second team there. Auburn is. Right. This is all about draw this time of year. That's what I always say to people. Yeah, I'm not saying Arizona played well against Oregon. I'm not going to have that argument. They played poorly. They looked like crap, blah, blah, blah. But this is a nice draw. And if they lose, there's no excuses. They have arguably one of the best draws in this tournament of any right. top seed. No, I agree with that. I agree with that. Now, a couple things. OGs, my friends, this is the best time of the year to get OGs. Let's not kid ourselves. Sheer, did you have any, have you had any OGs of late? I thought I just had 17 of them. You just had 17 you OG? Can you OD from OGs? Uh, no, you can't, but it's also very, very fun and it's very, very tasty. Check out really OG. Check out OGs. OGs, it's not your average uh, cannabis infused gummy. Head over to ogsbrands.com to find where you can purchase. Must be 21 years. Enjoy responsibly. And prize picks. Have you ever played prize picks, Jason Shear? Uh, you no, have. Sorry. sorry we, I think Arizona women are out. They're not in the tournament? I think they're out, but it's not it's done. Not yeah, all right. not that, but they're in trouble. Uh, I, I play it all the time. That's all. Download the Prize Picks app today and use code PHNX for the first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. And the Desert Financial Credit Union. Sure, you've been there all the time. This is correct. I am. I am. Desert always Financial there. Credit Union is for the people, by the people. Check out Desert Financial Credit Union, DFCU, my friends, uh, and go on the website. And uh, you can, uh, many times, you can get some free little deals with there. Check it out. All right. Now, let's look around the rest of the, uh, let's look around a little bit of the rest of the country. Who is your pick? If you're not back in the A here, you are back in the A. But who UConn. are you? What's that? UConn. Yeah, yeah to me. To me, that's the easy one. I think UConn's the best team in the country. I am. I will say this. Let's look at which which bracket do you think is the most difficult one, though, Jason? Whatever one has Nebraska. It's funny. I actually think UConn has the most difficult bracket. I think UConn has the most difficult bracket as well. Here's what UConn's got. UConn's got Iowa State as the two. You got Illinois as the three. You got Auburn as the four. You got San Diego State as the five. I totally disagree with you. I don't believe that's the difficult, most difficult bracket. Now, the Midwest, that's where it gets fascinating here a little bit. You got Purdue as the one. Where can we get Purdue knocked out? Can we get Purdue knocked out in the second round? No, I don't believe so. I think there's a, I think there's an absolute opportunity um, well, by the way. By the way, the I'm best really is the focused. I think the Arizona, South is the best. If the Arizona women are in the tournament, Mike, it's literally going to Oh, get Arizona announced. basketball women are in, Garrett just Hold says. On. Hold on. It's getting announced right now. No, it just said their women's team play. They're in the play in. Well, what do you mean? Been announced. And our TV is a little slow, and Brielle is watching. I Shut your mouth. In. Shut what? your mouth, Joe. Oh, they're in, Rob. Yeah! <laughs> Back the eight, baby. This is real time. Arizona. Arizona. Auburn versus Arizona. 
A D A just yelled out, back the A. He literally back the A. He has our show on in the background. All right, now JP66 said, all right, listen. Um, what we need to talk about Arizona and what we expect then. I believe that Arizona, 1,000%, there is no excuse, literally no excuse to not get to the second weekend, correct? Yeah, I, I dude, I'm telling you, there's no excuse. Like, I, I you know, said. I've always got the the backing of coaches and I put myself out there a little bit when I shouldn't to support coaches. I'm, I'm not there. He has to get out of the first weekend. They right. have to. And honestly, with this, if Arizona's playing Baylor in the uh, Sweet 16, I believe that Arizona's got to. I believe Arizona's got to win that game. I really do. Yeah, I believe that this oh, is Thursday yet. What's that? Uh, by the way, uh, all Long Beach State plays is zone defense. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. The I uh, that's, Long Beach State. Just pick them, Mike. Just pick them. No, I'm not going to. Not doing it. I will always yeah. back the A. I've Snoop never Snoop. not backed the A. Once the Snoop comes to the game, have we considered um, this? Yeah, Dayton is a good three point shooting team. Let's talk a little bit yeah, more about. You don't that. want Dayton. You want Nevada. Yes, exactly. Let's talk about L. Boom. Great name. Arizona is a uh, or Dayton's a good. Sw- but again, I still listen. We're talking about Dayton. It's not that good. They're they're a good three point shooting team, but that doesn't mean you're a good team. They're not that good. Right. Well, but that's going to be an awesome game, though. What's that? That's going to be an awesome game. I love the Long Beach State has too much heart. What does that mean? Do they have heart? If anybody's watched them, you know the heart they have. What does that mean? Dude, they play hard. Okay, so I, I, I'll give you the 5'9 white guy from the local rec who plays hard, right? You give me John Morant, and let's okay. see who wins. Um, yeah, let's see. All right, uh, let's see. Let's <laughs> move on. Fair enough. Oh, John Hippensteel. This year's Sweet 16 will be a, will need an asterisk in the record books for it to be a gimme. That was funny, actually. I, I like that one. Very, very good. Um, all right. Now, kind of like how the Detroit Lions play with heart. That's fair. That's fair. Daniel, now, Mike, I, out, I, want your, I want your thoughts on this because this is a setup. Trev Alberts, Nebraska AD, left where? To Texas to go A&M. To Texas A&M. They just announced the women's matchup before. It is Nebraska versus Texas A&M. The men's matchup. Is Nebraska versus Texas a and I'm saying, man. <laughs> awesome. That's, for all, that's awesome. Second of and, all, I never believe the committee when they say, oh, we did. <laughs> that's awesome. Right. What is your, let, let me, let's get back to Arizona though. With Arizona, um, let's just talk about it. I'm, a lot of people are concerned about Caleb Love. I am not concerned about Caleb Love. I think Caleb Love, I think he's flipping the switch. I know that he hasn't played well the last three games. It's a very fair concern. But Caleb Love's legacy, and again, I'm a big Caleb Love fan, and my total credibility in life is going to be based on what happens here in this next uh, month. I'm in on Caleb Love. I'm far more concerned about Kalen Bo- or Kalen Boswell, Kylan Boswell. Mike, I want to read you something real quick about Caleb, about Caleb Love. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. The well, last year, North Carolina, as we know, made the national championship game, right? Yep. ACC tournament happens, right? Caleb Love is 9 of 20 against Boston College, and it's 3 of 15 in a loss to Virginia. Mm-hmm. 12 of 35, 5 of 18 from 3, right? Mm-hmm. Then the dude goes in the NCAA tournament, and we see what happens, right? Mm-hmm. I I just think that there's something about him, man. And again, I could be totally wrong. I could be. All right, know, I, I said could... last year. Let me let me. I'm reading the wrong. I know words. you. I was going to let that pass. No, 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 my bad. He was, he was it was worse. He was five of twenty seven in the ACC tournament. Okay. The year he had twenty points total in two games, mm-hmm. right? Right. And then they go on, and then they make the. He's dropping twenty eight against Duke. He's dropping thirty against UCLA. I I I'm going to go on record, Mike. I'm setting the total at 22 and a half against Long Beach State. Yeah, I think that's right. Also, by the way, real quick, um, the people that are saying, you know, that Love needs to take less shots, fair enough. But here's my question. Who's going to shoot those shots? I actually thought in Vegas he needed to take more shots. I mean, I'm seriously, with all due respect, and again, we're talking about this a little bit on the board, or you guys were talking a bit, a little bit about the board. Pella is... Pella can't take more shots because Pella is just again. Pella's good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, Pella's, Pella's, good. In, Pella's what we call like he's an in-game shooter, right? Like if he's open once in a while, you get a drive. But, Caleb is obviously much better at creating for himself. Right. Pella's like, not going to get the ball. 
Yeah, I just don't understand that argument that you're taking shots away from other guys. I mean, again, Pella's very good. I was wrong. My bad, Pella. But you're not necessarily taking anything away from him. That's where I really don't get. That's what I'm saying. Go ahead. No, you're right. All right. Okay, fair enough. All right. Erica yeah. is home, folks. Good news. All right, Erica. Erica. Erica Day, who very much enjoyed herself in Las Vegas. Got to I'm know a lot of surprised that Erica made it back to Tucson. All Let's right. You know what? It was a good experience for Erica. Got to meet some of the people, press the flesh a little bit. All right. Now, AZ Lotto, my friends, Arizona Lottery. Visit azadventure.com uh, for more information on how you can take an adventure with the Arizona Lottery and for a chance to win $1 million in cash and Arizona travel prizes. Check it out, the AZ Lotto. And Illegal Pete's, Jason Shear. Have you been to Illegal Pete's? Uh, that's I heard. I hear there's one in Salt Lake. Is there? All right, I don't it's know. one immersive yeah. experience. And keep in mind, <laughs> Illegal Pete's in Salt Lake City. You Is can there? check check it out. Colorado. What's that? I know there's a lot in Colorado. Yeah, no, it's very, very good. Illegal Pete's. Again, you go there. This is the spot to go to for your March Madness. This is where you want to be at this time. Again, Illegal Pete's. Check it out. All kinds of good it's deals. It's only Colorado and Arizona. I apologize to the people. It's only Colorado and Arizona. That's it. All right. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Let's get back to Arizona here for a few minutes. Why did it seem that they appeared dis disinterested? Um, because... Mm -mm. I think Dana Altman said it, and I think it's it's accurate. I think the team has a tendency to get down on themselves when shots don't fall. And they can't do that. Like, they have to be able to win ugly. And it felt like when Arizona's shots was stopped falling, like, that was it for him. And Dana said, like, he's like, look, he's like, they were making shots, they started missing, and all of a sudden, it, they were sapped of energy. Like, that's right. what that's really what it is. Right. All right. But again, this is probably the most favorable, the, the most favorable draw that I think we can say. Also, right, let's talk about Oregon for a second. I think Oregon's going to make the elite eight. I just said it. I think Oregon's going to, I think Oregon's going to mess up uh, South Carolina. I don't think South Carolina is good. I think they're fake good. Mess up. Look at yeah. you. I think they're going to win. Is, South Carolina is favored by one and a half. You, you think that it, you think they're going to win as well. I do, but mess up is strong, Mike. All right, mess up is strong. All right, how about this? I think that Arizona is going to win that game by, or excuse me, Oregon's going to win that game by, I'll say, six to eight points. Ooh, look at you. What do you let's say you, my friend. What? I'll pick Oregon by two. All right, now that better not happen for six more games. Also, I guys, I, I people. Oh, hello, me and uh, Mr. Katz leaving Vegas, heading home. Uh, Izzy Cats G, very much appreciate the two dollars super snaps of the two dollar variety. Jason Shear, um, can we get yeah, a Shelby appearance? Shelby, Shelby, they want to see you. Hello, Shelby. Hi, guys. Shelby, why Hi. are you mad at me again? I'm not mad at you. You're, you seem very angry today because she went angry in the car. She went in the car this morning and it really smelled, and so she was <laughs> mad at you. No, oh, but again, I, I never had been festering all night. And so this morning it was not good for anyone. Yeah, no, I was pushing out farts. That is, that is true. What, was I, what do you mean? So gross. <laughs> you're, not, you're the grossest dude ever. No, I was, I mean, I'm not, I make no bones. I make no bones about that, but either way. All right. Uh, now, um, we are going to share. You're not going to be able to, uh, you're not going to probably be able to no. uh, do anything, nope. but how about Wednesday? Can we get you on the show? I don't know. I don't know. I we'll work something out. I got to look at the schedule. Hopefully, I get it tomorrow. All right. Oh, and before uh, and also Empire Flooring, my friends. Empire Flooring. Again, we're doing this basically off a. Uh, we're ba basically doing this just on the fly here. We're gonna have a lot more coming up. But Empire did Flooring. Did you tell them what I did for you for Empire Flooring when we were driving? Did oh, this is a great story. Um, so we're going by some rival flooring company. <laughs> And Jason Shear tries to drive that truck yeah. off the road. And he I roll down says, the window and I say, Empire Flooring for life. B word. It was, and I it swear was amazing. Back. Very much liked it. Um, Andre uh, Veris. Yes, Bruce did ask. Uh, I have the quote on my phone, but it was basically downplayed, handled internally. We love and support Kylan. We love support Kylan. You know, it's not who are we to judge. Um, it, uh, he didn't say that part. But I will say one thing that's interesting about Tommy, too, is... And, and he said this to us, I don't want to say off record, but privately, like when we weren't recording, he believes that Arizona, and he's not saying he's happy they lost, so don't take that, but he believes that Arizona is significantly more rested and healthy than they have been since he's arrived. 
Again, there's no excuses. At the end of the day, there is no excuses. With this draw, you're healthy. You've got your players. There's no excuses. Period. I'm laughing at the tow tree. Is, is yeah. tow tree having an ASU selection show? Anybody have the ASU seed? Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. They're not even in any, any postseason tournament then. Dude, I don't know. Everyone's turning down the NIT. Maybe they can sneak in there. I was going to see. Maybe they sneak in. That could be a possibility. Also, do you think that they have Empire flooring those shears? Uh, we already basically got the read, but schedule a free and a home estimate today with Empire today. Receive a $350 off discount when you use the promo code PHNX. Or blah, blah. Restrictions apply. See EmpireToday.com slash PHNX for details. LA Shadow or whoever it was, you said some very mean things about me, LA Shadow. And I was being a trooper because I couldn't hear anything because my headset was not working. So be very nice to me next time. All right, Sheer. We're going to sign off. We're going to have a lot more to get to, but I am back in the A. I absolutely love this bracket for Arizona, as does uh, as does Jason Shear. And again, to put it mildly, Arizona's got no excuses. They 1,000% need to uh, make it out of that first weekend, period. That's where we're at, Mike. The All right. Salt Lake City needs us. All right. Jacob Franklin. Oh, by the way, we saw Jacob Franklin yesterday as well, did we not? Is there like a Jewish hangout in Salt Lake City? Well, yeah, if you're going to go there, you better find it out. I know. <laughs> All right. On that note, though, oh, real quick, where can they find you doing your work, Sheer? Uh, Salt Lake City. And then wildcatauthority.com at Jason Shear on Twitter and the Wildcat Scoop podcast. If you find me in Salt Lake, should I not be on the show, I will have stickers, Wildcat Scoop stickers to give you. Come find me. Get yourself a sticker. All right. Back to A on that note. We will be back. back. We will be back. And make some Maylocks. Yes, exactly. You know what? I'm not going to, I make no apologies for who I am. Oh, by the way, one other thing we need to let the people know about. One thing that I do do is I do do <laughs> a Freudian slip. Oh. Uh, I bring enemies together. We're going to post this video next time. Kyle Dodd, Jason Shear, sworn haters of each other. I brought them together. Sheer, we got to work on your handshake. That was a really wimpy handshake, but it was I had cool. A beat in my hand. What's that? I had a beat in my hand. Which no, no, the other one. That was a weak handshake. Sheer, we got to work on the handshake. But other than that, it was very good. Listen, I understand. All right, but Sheer did a very good job. I'm very proud of Sheer making new friends everywhere he goes. Jason Sheer. But on that note. I am Michael, or uh, no, that is Jason Shear. All of you out there, we'll be back with you. Thanks for putting up with this. I am merely Mike Luke. You have been listening to the AZ Wildcats podcast. We all silly like the mayor. 